Hey everybody, welcome to Minnesota Fats. I'm your host Patrick. Today we're going to go out to Lake Elmo, a place called Gorman's. We're going to check them out. It was a recommendation by somebody at work, so let's give it a shot. A little bit of family history and stuff. They do events. It looks pretty cool. Pardon me? I said that's pretty cool. Oh, I've never been here. Wonderful. Well, you may have a seat wherever you'd like. Alrighty. So here we have the beef taco wrap, very full, has all kinds of stuff in it, fries, salsa, sour cream, ketchup, water, and cherry coke. These fries are really hot, nice golden crispy. Oh, so Gorman's family restaurant established in 1980 um, 
they do have a drive through You can get, I want to say, the full menu through the drive through um, I do know that you can do the espresso, cookies, cones, coffees, things like that through the drive through um, But looks like their sign says burgers and other things in the drive through as well. Um, everything is made to order, so they don't really have like a daily special. They got soups, chili, things like that, you know, special of the day, but no meals per se because they, they want it made fresh. They don't want that pre-made um, sitting around stuff. This place is really neat. It's it's kind of built like an old church. At least from the outside it looks like it. They even got a bell right when you enter. Um, but the layout is that that would be different to, from a church inside. But anyway, it, it's... So the part that you guys seen where I walked in and walked up... It doesn't stop just there. It, it takes a left and wraps back around. And there's there's people back there, uh, a few old folks, playing Scrabble. That's cool. She says that they kind of sit in that closed off section and play Scrabble. And, you know, because I asked if I could walk around and take a look at all the, the photos and endless photos of things going on around town throughout history and donated stuff from people around Lake Elmo area. It, this place is like a time capsule. They got unreal amount of stuff. Um, the food. I'm full. I had half of that wrap. I did get a cherry I'm sorry, a chocolate cherry milkshake I had half of that too because the other half is here so you get like the full glass plus enough to fill up that glass a second round that's a lot of ice cream um, pricing is pretty good there's the bill over there um, that wrap I'm generally not much of a wrap unless it's like a crunchy fried chicken so I thought I'd get this. It was okay. The, the seasoning could be a little bit more uh, chili, I guess. A little, little more zip in the, in the sauce. I'm going to have to say, I don't know, 7 and 8 sixteenths, I guess. We'll go with that. Um... Would I come back? Yes. They're, she says that they're known for burgers and shakes. I'm coming back. I'm going to try a burger. Um, there, there are some people sitting next to me that were finishing up shortly after I arrived. And with the dividers, I couldn't really see them. But I could definitely hear them. And they were raving about the burgers and then the uh i think it was the dad or the the older gentleman that was there the kids loved the burgers they they said best burgers ever the dad really enjoyed the open-faced hot beef sandwich um that's one of my faves too i'll have to try that here as well if you're out here out on the east side of the metro give it a shot they're pretty easy to find right off the main drag here uh, right in Lake Elmo pretty hard to miss uh, definitely worth it you know I, I, I graded them a little low the fries like I said were golden and crispy hot really hot um, It, it's almost not fair that I graded them like that because it's it's a taco. I don't know. 
not really a taco guy. But I think if it had more zing, you know, it would have been good. Because it, it was it had lettuce, but it wasn't over lettuce. Uh, well, you guys seen the picture. It was, there was at least half of it was meat, which is nice because they didn't skimp on it. Uh, a lot of wraps tend to be 80% lettuce and then the other rest be the main ingredient. This is like probably 50% meat and the other half lettuce, tomatoes. You know, I don't remember seeing any cheese in there. I wonder if they did any grated cheese in there. I'll have to eyeball it. But would I get it again? Eh, probably not, honestly. They have breakfast all day. I'm a breakfast and burger guy. I'm sorry, folks. Um, but I'm trying new things just to kind of broaden the palate and try to keep you guys watching because I, I know seeing me eat a burger every week would be pretty lame. So we're trying. If you guys have a place you want to recommend, shout it out. Send me a, a message here in the comments, or when you see me in person, tell me. Let let's go. I'm, so, you know, when I set, throw that out there and say that, I'll meet any one of you folks out. Let's let's get a whole group of people. I don't care. Let's let's go get some food. That's all I'm trying to say. You folks, take care. Have a very wonderful week, and as always. May God bless.